everyone, and welcome back to Ann's Family Recipe. Today, I'm back at Aldi Grocery Store for one more last minute Christmas grocery shop with me. It's less than two weeks until Christmas and Aldi is still putting out tons of new seasonal items, including food, gifts, and decor. Right as I walked into my store, I saw these grouch trees, which are very similar to what they sell at Trader Joe's this time of year. The only thing I'll say is they're a little bit top heavy. I had to actually stand these up because every single one on the display had fallen over. So I'm not sure how they're gonna hold up for you, but they are really cute. They also have indoor and outdoor LED birch trees, along with this five foot tall flocked Christmas tree, which is really beautiful, and tons of new wooden signs. I didn't get to look at all of the designs on the super tall signs, the one that says believe, but all of them are double-sided. Here's a look at the shorter porch signs. You can see the fronts and backs of each one. a couple of years ago I bought a really cute throw pillow from Aldi this time of year and they just brought out their collection of Christmas pillows. These first three pillows I'm showing you actually have matching hand towels too and I'll show you those in a little bit. They have several designs of these four foot inflatables. There's Santa, a penguin, a tree, a mailbox with letters to Santa, the snowman, a reindeer, and a little gnome too. These round wooden signs are beautiful. Unfortunately, the packaging made them a little bit difficult to see the actual sign, but I'll give you a close up of each design so you can see. They also have these large easel signs. They aren't reversible, but I think the designs are really pretty. They have so many new Christmas toys for kids, and I honestly just didn't have time to film everything, but there was a big display of these Squishmallows at the front of the store, and I thought they were so cute. And I didn't want to dig through the pile too much, but you can see there are a bunch of different characters. Plus, they had this giant kitty pillow too, which I thought was really adorable. Next up are some giftable food items. So there's a gourmet chocolate covered pretzel assortment, along with these really yummy looking chocolate chip pecan melt away cookies. And they have four different flavors of these jumbo cookie kits too. Definitely check out the baking aisle this time of year because all of these spices and seasonings I'm showing you now are seasonal. They don't always carry them. So they have the nutmeg and cloves and ginger for baking, plus thyme and sage and poultry for if you're making turkey or stuffing or anything like that. New to my baking aisle were these two sprinkle mixes. The first one had more red and green, so a little more Christmassy. And then the second one was just the silver, gold, and white, which I think would be perfect for New Year's Eve treats. They also bring out these melting wafers and almond bark this time of year in case you're making your own candies or really chocolate dipped anything. This is the perfect product to use because it makes a really nice coating on pretzels or fruit or whatever you're gonna dip. They have two new flavors of breakfast bread for the holiday season, including gingerbread and cranberry orange. And I'm gonna tell you, they smell amazing, but I don't love the texture of these. They're quite dense. So it's up to you if you wanna try those out. 
They also have raspberry and almond Kringles, which I know are super popular at Trader Joe's this time of year, so I thought that was interesting to see them at my Aldi now. They also had these filled red velvet and vanilla cupcakes, which look tasty, although it didn't actually specify what they are filled with. I'm assuming frosting, but I don't know. There were also frosted holiday loft house cookies, chocolate dipped macaroons, they had chocolate peppermint cookies, and these sparkly sugar cookies too. I know a lot of stores sell a very popular blue tin of Danish butter cookies this time of year, and Aldi has their own version for $2.89. I think the time for advent calendars has kind of passed at this point, but this 12 Days of Christmas chocolate truffle calendar was new at my store, and the Moser Roth brand has really tasty chocolate, so I thought this would be fun to try, even if you don't actually use it as a countdown. My store also had these big bins of pretzel rods that you could use for dipping into chocolate, and then also these holiday-shaped pretzels too. I mentioned in one of my fall shop with me is to look out for the more wintry flavors of Greek yogurts, and they're finally here. So there's eggnog, mint chocolate chip, and cranberry Greek yogurts. My store also finally transitioned from the pumpkin spice whipped cream in a can to the chocolate whipped cream, which sounds really tasty. Next up was an end cap of all different festive treats. So there are holiday fruit flavored snacks, these peppermint pretzel stars with a white chocolate drizzle. Those look really yummy. There's kettle corn with dark chocolate drizzle or caramel corn with white and dark chocolate drizzle. This mistletoe mix looks really yummy. There's chocolate covered pretzels, little peanut butter cups, M&Ms, caramel corn, a whole variety of treats in that little box. I think this is very similar to some of those trail mixes that you'll find at Target this time of year too. They also have these milk chocolate and caramel covered pretzel rods and these very festive tortilla chips, which I know my kids would like. And then these two different Rice Krispie products. There's the stocking kit and the mini wrapped squares. I had never seen this cookies and cream flavor of Muddy Buddies before. That sounds really yummy. These candy cane sandwich cookies are really good and they work perfectly in my dirty snowball recipe, which I will link for you below. It's basically an Oreo cookie truffle and they are so delicious. These six packs of vanilla or cinnamon snowman graham crackers would be perfect for school lunches. And lastly, on this display, I saw the gingerbread train kit, and then notice there's also a gingerbread house kit behind it too. That's really cute. I am not a pet owner. We have five children, so our house is chaotic enough as is, but I thought people would appreciate seeing all of these different dog treats. There's frosted cookies, and there are these cute stockings filled with different rawhide bones. They also had really large bones and super cute pajama sets and sweaters for your dog. Next up is a bunch of new Christmas decor. So there's these LED ceramic trees that are really beautiful, and then the holiday figurines, along with a bunch of little lights. So these are copper or silver wire string lights, and then they also had these novelty LED lights with different gnomes and characters on them. I really liked these simple, kind of fuzzy garlands. They had gnomes, the word Mary, and snowflakes too. They also had this really nice ceramic house, and then these metal Christmas vehicles. There's a truck, a camper, and a car. These are the hand towel sets I was mentioning earlier. They come in pairs, and they match some of those throw pillows that they just put out.
They have these really cute apron, oven mitt, and pot holder sets. There are other patterns, I just didn't dig through the box, but I thought that would make a great gift for a baker in your life or a hostess gift too. And then they had these new table runner and placemat and napkin sets. I think it all came in one set, but they may have been separate. I was a little bit confused by the labeling, but the patterns are so beautiful on these. They also have these metal houses that light up in black, red, white, and silver. There's an outdoor LED spiral tree set, along with these really pretty wreath bows. There's a couple different buffalo check patterns, and then in the back I noticed there's sort of a burlap looking pattern with the Christmas trucks on it, and the red one with the white snowflakes. It's really cute. And then there are also spools of really pretty ribbon too, so you can make your own bows. Next up are more reversible signs. And again, the packaging made the designs a little bit difficult to see, but I tried to get a close up on at least the photograph so you could see both sides of the sign. Now these larger ones are called reversible mantle signs and they are actually less expensive than the ones I just showed you and I think the patterns are so cute. Also there's a Christmas pattern on one side and then each one has kind of a neutral year round pattern on the other side which I love. This gingerbread pattern was my absolute favorite and I thought all of these signs were very Hobby Lobby-esque. I really liked this Santa cookie tray or cake platter because there's no writing on the actual plate. So you're not covering anything up. You still get to see the cute decor, plus use the nice platter for displaying your treats. Then they also have different kinds of cookie jars too. These reed diffusers are new to my store, and all four of these scents also come as frosted glass candles. In my opinion, the whipped hot chocolate is the most unique scent and it smells delicious. Like I said, I just wasn't able to film everything in the store, but I thought these candles were beautiful. They would make perfect gifts. You could give the whole set as one piece or break them apart into 12 little gifts, and the scent sounded amazing. There were also some new kitchen tools, including a baster, a foldable potato masher, which I thought was really smart, and these poultry shears. Also, these glass measuring cup sets were nice. I see some strainers in the back there. There are three-piece baking sheet sets and silicone baking mats, which I think everybody should have. You can use them for baking both savory and sweet items, for making candy so that nothing sticks to your tray. They're really versatile. They also had these oven liners and oven rack protectors, which I'd never seen before. My Aldi was selling bite-sized marzipan stolen bites, and it looks like they also had an apple flavor too. This is the Aldi cheese case, and it's arguably my favorite part in the entire store. I actually filmed an entire video dedicated to Aldi cheese last Christmas, so I will link that for you in the description box below. But here you're gonna find incredible cheeses, meats, dips, all kinds of things you can serve during the holidays. I noticed this specially selected double layer chocolate cake in my refrigerator case too, which looked scrumptious, as well as these chocolate lava cakes. Some are caramel filled and some are chocolate filled. They also carry these really unique flavored smoked salmon. There's red wine, old fashioned and mojito flavored. And then there's also a package of hand cured smoked salmon, both of which look incredible. And then below I saw blue cheese pecan dip and truffle dip, which I've never seen before. I've actually seen a post on Instagram already that you need to run, not walk to buy that truffle dip. So it sounds really good. Here are some new frozen appetizer options. There's the puff pastry bites and different flavors of empanadas. There are also these frozen turkey meatballs, which would make for an easy dinner during the holiday season, or you can use them as an appetizer, just with some chili sauce and some grape jelly in a crock pot. Those are incredible. For some vegetable sides, they have cream spinach or Brussels sprouts with butter, along with these really beautiful looking vegetable medleys or fire roasted vegetables. Mm -hmm. 
And if you're on the hunt for some unique meats, they have a boneless leg of lamb and boneless duck breasts. Also in the freezer section are bacon-wrapped sea scallops and two different kinds of crab cakes. There's Maryland and Boardwalk. I'm not sure what differentiates the two, but they both look really good. And then there's also the Fremont brand of ready-made crab cakes. And then next to them were these maple sriracha shrimp, which look kind of fancy too. I was on the hunt for this peppermint bark ice cream. My daughter Emma specifically loves mint flavored desserts, but our whole family enjoys the peppermint bark milkshakes from Chick-fil-A, so I will be trying to recreate those in my kitchen and I will share the results soon. Other desserts found in the freezer section include mini eclairs and mini cream puffs, and also these macaroons. I also spotted these Mad Minis peppermint ice cream cookie sandwiches, along with the snowflake cones, which are always really cute. They have two new K-cup flavors, peppermint mocha and chocolate raspberry, yum. And then below them they have hot cocoa K-cups in a variety of flavors. I think there's Irish cream, salted caramel, mocha, and peppermint. They also have the Green Mountain Holiday Blend and Cinnamon Sugar Cookie, as well as the McCafe Cinnamon Streusel Coffee Cake flavor. I really like the more sophisticated look of this milk and cookie plate set. And then they also have these beautiful snowflake lanterns and a bunch of pop-up Christmas cards. I absolutely love these nutcracker serving utensils and napkin rings. They remind me a lot of spode tableware and are just so beautiful. There's also this festive Christmas tree plate and charger set as well. They also have these beautiful thankful platters, one in kind of a cream color with gold writing and then the other one is all white. I'm not sure if they're a carryover from Thanksgiving or not, but I think they would work perfectly for both Thanksgiving and Christmas. I spotted these hand soap and lotion sets right by the checkout and they come in a couple different scents. And lastly, these beautiful potted flowers in the little tin cans with the red truck decor. I thought they were super festive. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Ann's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you like my all day shop with me today. Thank you so much for joining me here, and I'll see you again soon.